Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Green Mahim and today I'm bringing you part 57 of Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. So in the last episode, we went across Route 4. We got bodied a few times, but um, you know, we didn't lose to anybody, thankfully. Uh, we just lost a bunch of Mon, so the training there was kind of tedious and I was getting kind of fed up, but uh, you know, we made it to Kelsinon City finally, all of the kids seem to be okay, though Aya did get kidnapped, so our, uh, Hardy is not best pleased. And uh, we also found out that, uh, or Anna came up with the genius idea of going under the uh, big iceberg in order to get to Amatrain City. But in order to do that, we need Dive, which I have already, thankfully. But to use it, I need to get the badge from the Calcinon City Gym, which belongs to Caroline Belrose, who is actually Charlotte's mother. But, uh, you know, Charlotte got it as a hand-me-down. So we're about to finally go and fight Charlotte, and hopefully we'll be able to use Dive. Now, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like rating to show your support for the playthrough. It will help me out. And don't forget to leave comments giving tips, opinions, uh, suggestions, and letting me know about any what, uh, event Pokemon that I've missed up to this point. Now... I should probably mention, you may have guessed from what I said in the last video, but this gym, this is the Calcinon City Gym. This is where I got stuck in Pokemon Reborn before. I have heard that Charlotte got nerfed. However, I don't know for sure because I've not fought her and I'll probably still struggle with her because my team does seem a bit underleveled. But right now, um, as far as I've, as far as I've experienced with her, I spent hours trying to beat her. And I just couldn't because her team was too powerful and I wasn't EV trained. So, um, I don't know how this is going to go. But I, I, you know, got destroyed by her before. So this could either turn out to be really lucky for me or this could be a complete nightmare. But once I defeat Charlotte, everything beyond that point will be completely new to me. So this is the final... Actually, no, I suppose not. I guess, I guess starting from now, really, it's blind to me because I don't know if Charlotte's field has changed or if she's got a new team or what. Because all I heard was she got nerfed. So, from here on out, everything here is going to be completely new to me. I'm pretty much playing this blind as of right now, so... We're going to go in the gym now, and hopefully this will be not so bad a time. You're being way too hard on yourself. How couldn't I be? It has to be my fault somehow. Ame probably just made a mistake. Look, we'll get it figured out, but crying about it won't help. Sub Vero. Vero, sorry. Please excuse me. Awesome. She doesn't like to cry in front of others. Go figure. I love her, but that girl drives me nuts sometimes. Like, I get that it's bad news, but she's totally overreacting. Hmm? She got a notification from Ame today. She was fired from her position as Elite Four. What? Why? What did she do to get that? Apparently she's been replaced already. But this isn't generally how this reborn league, this whole Reborn League thing goes down. Oh. Oh no. Oh, you don't think she got fired because Elias made it happen, do you? You don't tell me Elias got her fired so Bennett could be in the Elite Four. I hope that's not how it is. I actually really wanted to fight Laura. Man, I hope she gets her job back. It'd suck if we have to fight Bennett. Because we've fought him several times already and he's not even earned his position. So that would be really shitty. Although if he is there then... Uh, well, I guess we would have known two people in the Elite Four anyway since we knew Laura was a grass user. But we know Bennett's a bug user and considering that Elias has so far used Ditto and had it transform into Arceus as well. I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that Elias is a normal type user. But we don't know. He might be psychic. We're not sure yet. But I'm pretty sure he's a normal type user. So that's two, lead, uh, two elite four we know about. Potentially three if Laura joins back again. Anyway. Something's weird here. And I'm going to figure out why. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, so I can't even fight her now, can I? Well, will Arme talk to me yet? Nope. So that was awkward to watch. Anyway, as I'm sure you saw, Charlotte's not here right now. Yeah, I guess I can't fight her yet, huh? So where do I go then? Do I have to go to the kids now? Oh, I, d I, I missed that. Um, you know, I think I saved. 
So I'm going to go get that uh, dialogue out of the way real quick with Charlotte again. Because I saved in front of the gym. So I'm just going to get all this out of the way again. And I'm going to see what she said. I didn't think she'd say anything new. I don't... Although thinking about it, if I, if I thought that, I don't know why I spoke to her in the first place. Anyway, let's go again. Let's talk to Sir uh, Safira. I will remain here until I'm sure the city is safe. I'm sure there are others who need to speak to you, though. Let go of me already. Stop it. Aya. Good. You're here as well. Our terms are simple. We know you have the ruby ring, Vero. Give it to us, or the girl's life is forfeit. We aren't interested in negotiating. What do you mean we aren't negotiating? This is Aya's laugh. Vero, just give him the ring. Whatever you do, do not give them the ring. It's a stupid piece of jewelry. It's not worth killing her. Apparently some people disagree. No surprise there. You don't know what this ring can do. I mean, I don't want you to die, but I can't just give the ring. If I give them the ring, even worse things are going to happen than one person dying. Team Meteor is not a pack of thieves. The ruby ring is not just a ring, it's a key. Does that matter? They're going to kill her if you don't give it to them. They're going to kill her if we do give it to them. That doesn't even make sense. I bet you wouldn't be saying the same thing if it was one of your sisters over there. Wrong. That doesn't change anything. And Charlotte happens to be right there as she said that great. Ugh! It don't make any sense. First you say you'll do anything for your family, and then you say you'd willingly let her die for a stupid ring. Oh, so that's what this is about. Pharaoh's ruby ring? That's right. Team Meteor is holding that girl hostage. So, sis. You'd really let me die over something so insignificant, huh? Oh boy. Vero, what about you? Would you be so callous as to throw me to the dogs for the sake of some stupid ring? I'm being tested here. But yes, I would. Oh, how could you? If that's how it's, if that's how it's going to be, then I just need to steal the ring to save myself. Uh, wasn't it just a hypothetical question? <laughs> Oh, well, I guess she stole the ring from us. Team Media, I'll give you the ring. I have to run so these people don't take it back. But I'll give it to you at the power station. Meet me there. Charlotte, no. Hardy, stop. Hmm. <laughs> I'll send someone down. Ow, ow, ow. Stop dragging me around. Ah, yeah. Yo, look. I don't expect anybody else to care about her like I do. But you could at least try giving a damn. Oh, he does like her. Oh, he admitted it. Oh, that's cute. Do you have any siblings? Do... What? Yeah, I have a sister. She reminds me of you. You're both impossible to deal with. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you're not close. But when you've been through as much as my sisters and I have, you learn to have absolute faith in each other. All we have is each other. If we doubted that, there would be nothing left. That's some kind of absolute faith you got for sure. She just got upset and ran off with our only way to save Aya. Did she? Or did she just save Aya herself? What are you talking about? Because of her, Team Meteor no longer believes we have anything of value to them. Therefore, they have no reason to threaten Aya, to threaten Aya's life. Vero, blah blah blah, follow her, I think she said. You know where she was headed, right? Tch. Absolute faith always ends up broken in the end. If that's how you feel, then uh, what's this relationship you've got going on with Aya then, huh? Absolute faith. If you don't believe in such a thing, then how can you and I get along as well as you want to? We have to take matters into our own hands. Follow Charlotte. She said she headed to the power control center. The same one you were at before. I'm guessing that's where the Chloite was, if I had to guess. Let's check on the kids first. Will they say anything? I guess not. Okay. Well... Uh, we don't have the ruby ring anymore, but Charlotte does have it, and it seems like she's going to help us out. So, I'm going to go see whether she's actually helping us or not. <clears throat> oh, here she is. Sup? That was a pretty fun show, huh? Don't worry about the whole throw me to the dogs thing. You gave the right answer. In any situation where someone is making an ultimatum, you never acquiesce to it. Case in point, Team Meteor could kill every person in Labrador City, but that doesn't get them anything they need. So as long as we don't bargain with them, they won't reach their goals. But if we gave in like your little friend Hardy wanted to, that would have just validated all their power and encouraged that behavior. 
That's all it is. Rewards and punishment, really. We just have to train them. Turns out humans aren't that different from dogs after all. Oh, shit. And that's an odd way of thinking about it, but she's actually not wrong. <laughs> hmm. I don't care if that sounds manipulative or callous. I don't have the liberty of feeling guilt like most people. That right burned away years ago. Yeah. After you burned your parents away, I suppose that would have that effect on you, huh? I'm glad she didn't hear me say that, because I'd probably get slapped the fuck up right now. <laughs> anyway, here. Thanks for giving it back. Team Meteor doesn't know you have that now, and they're going to waste time going down to the power station, so that's a double win. Anna told me about the issue with Amatrine, so you need to use Dive, right? Don't ask me whose bright idea it was to make the fire leader enable a water machine. Yeah, you know, I thought that was weird as well. <laughs> anyway, this will be my first proper battle in Mom's gym, so I gladly accept your challenge. Oh, really? Well, I suppose you have you've been at the orphanage all this time, so it would explain why you've not had an opportunity to actually change the gym's name to Charlotte Belrose, his gym, or whatever. We do, we better do it now while Team Meteor's still distracted. I'll meet you over there. Hmm, I never found Laura. Oh well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, something tells me that that's, uh... Yeah, that doesn't sound like she's gonna be very well, fine, whatever. I have a bad feeling about that is what I was trying to say. This gym also looks like it's very similar to, uh, to Wallace's and Juan's gym from Emerald, actually. Vero? So you're about to fight Charlotte at the old gym, huh? Alright, listen up. This is her first time using that arena, but she's about to make damn good use of it. She will probably use doubles as she did in her qualifying battles, so it's still a double format. Okay. Double format is what I got destroyed in before, so I already have a bad feeling about this. And she still has nine tails, which doesn't make me feel much better about it. If she takes after her mother, that's going to be a lot of eruption and heatwave attacks. This still sounds as exactly as broken as it did before, because all she did before was send out Nine Tails and Typhlosion. Nine Tails set up the drought, and I know she still has that because we saw it before. And Typhlosion spammed Eruption, and whenever I'd send out Golem, she'd use Energy Ball on Typhlosion. And Typhlosion outsped everything that I had for some reason, even though I had the likes of Espeon on my team and my Nectric during that playthrough as well. She still outsped me with a Typhlosion. So if this is exactly the same as it is before, I'm in for a rough time. Those sorts of area hitting fire attacks will set that arena on fire, which will send her power through the roof. There are lots of ways to put out a flame, but consider stopping it from lighting at all by setting up rain. Ooh. Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually. I do have rain dance, don't I? I've also got Whizcash. So I can use Surf, if, and that might nerf the arena as well. Hmm, I'm gonna have to teach Rain Dance to my neck trick then. Or if that's not your style, then take up the cliche and fight fire with fire. Her superheated and burning fields can be just as strong against her, given her past. Does that mean? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Ouch. You didn't really need to bring that up, but you're not wrong, I guess. Or maybe that's exactly what she's done. In any case, good luck. Alright, so how do I do this? Oh, uh, this, this one's simple enough, I think. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Cool. I thought I screwed it up for a second there, but I did not. <coughs> right, so how do I, how am I going to do this? Right, first of all, I need to teach my Nectric Rain Dance before I forget, so I'm going to do that now. Yeah, it might even be worth teaching someone else Rain Dance too, if they can learn it. Yeah, I might teach it to Espeon. Because what, what did I get rid of? I, I deleted Sunny Day for Hidden Power, but Hidden Power's not been much use to me. So I think... I'm going to get rid of it for a uh, rain dance. Because having one rain dance user on the team when it will be as useful as it's going to be in this battle is not something I need. Wait, it just said hidden power was base 60. I know base 70 is the max it can go. So I guess hidden power is actually not that weak of a move really. It just wasn't doing much before because it wasn't stab I guess. Anyway, let's fight this guy. Make peace while you still can. Hello, are you saying you're gonna kill me? Calm down. Elder Iro. Simisir. Okay. Well, I suppose if if I set up the rain now, I can just spam thunder and his fire moves will be weaker, so I might as well do that. Superheated. Okay, I feel like that would have okoed me if I didn't have the rain up, to be honest. 
Focus Blast. How did that do more than his Fire Blast? <laughs> when this field defect is up and it's stabbed. Jesus Christ. Maybe the rain nerfs the field as well. Infernape. Alright. Unless it uses Mark Punch, I should take this out with a Thunder. Oh, damn, I didn't. Oh, okay. I guess my Netrix's down already. Okay. Well, that's fine with me, I guess. I've also got Flash Fire, so Houndoom can make very good use of this field. Right, I want to level up Whizcash as much as I possibly can before this fight, because Whizcash is going to be absolutely key in this fight. He may not be able to take physically defensive moves too well, but he can take special moves quite well. And, um... Uh, he's specially defensive. Wait, no, well, that's not what I was going to say, was it? Oh, shit. Water moves steam up the field, so we lose accuracy. Alright, I don't know if there's a way we can destroy this field there. Maybe Earthquake can, but I don't think so. I do know that the field can change as well into, like, a Blaze one as well from before. When I, when I fought her before, she changed the fields to be even more fiery than it was. So I think it actually... I think it changed... You know, like, when um, I set the forest on fire... And it becomes like a blaze like that. I think it does the same thing in there. I'm not sure what exactly triggers it. I, it might be sunny day. I'm not sure. But I, I, if it's the same as before. Then her field can get even worse. And it might damage me. So I'm going to need to be careful about that. But one thing I'm definitely going to need to do. Oh shit. Connell's there now. I didn't think he'd be there. So you're here too. You seem to be doing well. This barrier is your life right now Sigmund. When it goes out, I swear on my life, I will seek you out and strike you down. Yes, yes, I am well aware. So I see you still derive personal comfort from threats to authority. You aren't the authority anymore. This isn't your jailhouse. And yet by the law's discretion, as you well know, I am still the legal guardian of your youngest sister. No, I am the guardian. You are the threat. Get out of my sight. You are in no position to be give- Wait, you are not in a position to give me orders, Vera. Right. You get those from Team Meteor now? Just how low can a man sink? I care nothing for their goals, but there is something I must confirm. He said he recognized Lin. They was only temporary he was only temporarily helping Team Meteor because uh, he could get the kids using them. But they that failed. So why he was still with them back in Tanzan Mountain, I don't oh actually no, that was another attempt to get them, but now Now Safira's guarding them. And I'm here again as well. And Team Meteor's not really helping him catch the kids anymore. So I guess the only reason he's there is to see if Lin is who he thinks she is. Because he she, he definitely recognizes her. Or so he thinks. So that's probably the only reason he's still there. That's probably what he's going to confirm. Enough. Your excuses sicken me. I'm done with this conversation. I'm your worst fucking nightmare, Sigmund. Watch where you sleep. Oh, damn. And Sigmund's just not going anywhere. <laughs> he's just standing there chilling, watching her as she gets mad. Alright, I need to be careful with this one. Ouch, I did not mean to do that. I think that hurt my team too, didn't it? No, it didn't. No, I thought that hurt your team. Maybe they changed that? Um. Alright, no, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I thought I messed up again, but this is still fine. Alright, I think I've got this. There we go. Did it. Hello, you. Think fast. It's the only way you'll survive. See, the problem I have now... That I just thought about... Oh, waste trainers are kind of cool. Wait. But the problem I have now is... Um, uh, I was going to lead with main Nectric and Whizcash so I could set up Rain Dance first turn. Wait, what the fuck? How did a rainbow get created? Huh? Oh, that's odd. I don't actually know what rainbows do. I've never seen that before. But what I was saying is, I wanted to lead with main Nectric and Whizcash to set up rain first turn and just use Surf. But if I use Surf, the accuracy is going to be lowered of everyone on the field. And while that will help me against Charlotte, I want to try and keep Whizcash on the field. But if I have to switch him out, someone's going to be taking a pretty, a pretty brutal hit. On top of that, the field's also going to weaken the attack. 
so I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. I feel like I should maybe lead with someone else. I'm thinking maybe I should lead with Espeon instead of main neck trick so I can just use Earthquake instead of Surf. How, what will Surf do while the rainbow's up? I think it's still the same field. I got burned. Oh, okay. Apparently, getting the rainbow up changed the field. So if I if I if I use Rain Dance, it should change the field so that I can use Surf first turn after all. Maybe yeah, maybe I should do that. I also have no idea what I'm supposed to be a diversion for that he just mentioned, but okay. Well, let's get some burn heal. Because uh, I better have that in a fire gym. Ha! Huh. Get it. Alright, let's uh, use chocolate ice cream. On both. And I need... Uh, vanilla now, because I'm pretty sure I have that. No? Do I not? No? Okay, I get... Oh yeah, I couldn't buy any more vanilla because... Uh, uh, what's it? Um... And they all became vanilla in Spinal Town instead. Right, this heals 120 points, so that means Ultra Potions are basically Gen 7 Hyper Potions. Whereas Hyper Potions are exactly the same, right? Yeah, okay. Right, um, what do I use? Fresh Water? Yeah, I'll use Fresh Water. For some reason, I bought that. I have Lemonades too, are they still 80? Yup, okay, fair enough. Right, now which way do I go here? This is gonna be tough. This is actually going to be tough. I think I have it. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I think I've got it. I think I have this in the bag. Have I done it? Have I done it? I thought I'd fuck this up, but I think I've done it. Oh, godlike. 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 Yes. You wanna just fly right past me? Heh. I'll tell your I'll tear your wings right off of you. Bitch, you try it. I'm gonna destroy you. Punk. Your name is literally Punk. Alright, there's two Simises in this gym, so I have a feeling Charlotte's got one as well now. Nasty plot. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's scary. Oh, God. Oh, I need to consider Charlotte's team, actually. From what I remember, Nine Tails, Typhlosion, and I think she had a Volcarona. I might be remembering that last one wrong, but I think she had one. There's also the chance that she has Simiseer and Houndoom, as well as maybe Arcanine. Oh, she had Darmanitan too. She had Darmanitan. I remember that thing gave me nightmares. Oh, no. That, that thing really gave me nightmares. Oh, God. She had that too. Yeah, Charlotte's going to be bloody hard. Oh, my God. I might actually have to level up on screen just to like, deal with her, I think. I'm not sure I can actually take her out. Also, why did the, uh, why, why did the weather not turn rainbow? Oh no, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's because it was sunny. It was sunny and then I used rain dance. So it became rainbow weather. It makes sense now. So that means if she leads with nine tails, then I can turn it into rainbow weather and completely destroy her field. Unless she's got a different field to the one we're on right now, which I think she does. But if she doesn't, then I can destroy the field. Oh shit, took out Whiskash. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna give Houndoom this KO. Because it's about to level up. Hopefully it will level up from this, this KO. Alright, there we go, good. I'll get my hands around those feathers yet. Alright, you do that. There's also no more of this, so I'm pretty sh Oh, wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Charlotte's field. So, I'm going to go back down here and heal, and then I'm going to take on Charlotte, and hopefully she will not be as difficult as before. <clears throat> I think I'm going to keep the leads, as I said before. I think I'm going to lead with Espeon. If she sets up Rain Dance, uh, if she sets up Sunny Day first turn, I'm going to use Rain Dance. 
If she doesn't, then I'll just have to go all out offense. But if I can't get the weather set up to be rainbow, then Surf isn't going to do anything. So I'm going to have to use Earthquake. I don't really want to use Earthquake. But the only thing I've got that resists it is Sceptile. And that's obviously not going to be very good in this gym at all. So I don't have much choice. Alright, so Espeon. And Wizcash. Now, the other thing I need to consider. Wizcash I'm probably going to have to set up Amnesias on as well. To take energy balls and stuff. Right, what am I going to give to Espeon? Uh, I need I need to give... Uh, do I have anything that uh, takes super effective fire attacks? Because I don't think it's going to help me much. But if I can get Sceptile to live an attack, then that's going to... That, you know. I don't think it will. But if it can, that would be great. Right, I'm, I'm actually going to give Umbreon a Citrus Berry. I don't know if it's going to be much help. But... I'd like to think it would be. Wizcash, as usual, you have the Chesto Berry. I kind of want to give you what resists the grass move just because of that energy ball, but I feel like making sure you can use rest is the bigger... bigger, um... priority. Um... What else? Oh yeah, Damproc! Damproc! I forgot I had that. I should give the... I should give SB on a main trick Damprocs. If I have two. I've got three. Alright, I'm giving them damn procs. Alright, there you go. Now, what moves does Houndoom know? Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, Nasty Plot, and Rock Smash. Okay. This may seem odd, but I think what I'm actually going to do is teach Houndoom Sunny Day. Because, if she doesn't lead with Nine Tails, then I can... Then... And she, or she doesn't even use it for whatever reason. I'll have Sunny Day, so I can set that up, and then I can use someone else who have Rain Dance to make the weather rainbow. So just in case I, she doesn't help me set up the weather, I've got another way of doing it. Alright, I think I'm good. Let's go. Not too shabby, huh? Turns out Mom had pretty good taste. She was a fire trainer too, you know. I didn't mean to take after her. It just kind of connected. When the flames started spreading, at first I was confused and scared. But when I realized what was happening and that there was nothing I could do, I just accepted it. Then I saw how really pretty they were. They were little spirits of immolation, dancing back and forth in the night air. It was art, really. Because see, when you realize you've done something that terrible, you have a choice. You can either accept the guilt and live with that burden for the rest of your life, or you can just... not. I wasn't interested in regret. Most kids would have been traumatized by finding out they killed their own parents, right? They'd hide away and cry at the sight of fire after that. That didn't sound fun, so I embraced it instead. Fire is destruction. Destruction is beauty. When there's nothing you can do to stop the creeping flame, all that's left is to sit back and watch the show. And I'll put on a marvelous show for you, so give into it already. Well, again, that's another weird way of looking at it, but I guess I don't blame her for thinking that way. Alright, Charlotte. She led with Darmanitan and Typhlosion. Okay. I think there's, these are the leads she had before. Actually, now that I think about it. But I'm pretty sure she does have Ninetales sitting in the back. Right, now Espeon should outspeed both of these and get the Rain Dance up. Excellent. So that's going to weaken Heat Wave and Flare Blitz if uh, Darmanitan goes for that. Oh, wow. Even Super Heated. That got heavily nerfed. Jesus. That might hurt Espeon, though. Yeah. It, it, like, that would have taken it out without the Super Heat anyway. Ooh. Ooh, good. Darmanitan's actually a threat. I'm glad that thing's gone as early as it is. I want Typhlosion gone, too. That's the other thing scaring me. I don't mind if Ninetales comes out and sets up now. But I want... I want it... I want that Darmanitan and that Typhlosion gone. Those are the two things that concern me. Now, what comes next? Hmm. See, there's several things she could do. She could send out Ninetales. She could send out uh, Volcarona. There's, there's also, and I think Typhlosion knows Focus Blast as well. If I send out Houndoom, Wizcash is just going to take it out. So I don't really want to do that. He'll probably take out Magnetric if I go for an Earthquake, though. 
You know what? I'm going to send out my neck trick just in case she sends out nine tails. Okay, she went for Volcarona. Right, that means I want to go for Thunder on that thing, and I'm going to use Surf. I want to Thunder because I want to try and get the Paralysis, and I need as much damage as I can possibly get on that thing. Because I want to take that out quickly, otherwise it's going to set up uh, Quiver Dances. Okay, why did she do that? She should, she should have just Quiver Danced, really. Not that I want her to, but... Okay, this should take out Typhlosion, hopefully. It might not, but... Oh, it did. Sweet. Alright, this is already going a lot better than it did before. Alright, it lowered my accuracy. Which is unfortunate, but... Um... Delphox. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Right. I'm going to use... Discharge, and I'm gonna surf again, just because I don't want to use Earthquake here. I want to try and keep Magnetric in as long as I can. What's that? What? Delphox outspeeds. That's weird. Oh, okay. Magnetric died. How did Delphox outspeed us? That's really bizarre. The fact that a Delphox of all things outsped my Magnetric is really weird to me. <clears throat> At least I'm lowering the accuracy of these things, though. Now what? I don't have Night Slash anymore. I'm going to send out Umbreon. Because uh, while a, uh, a Bug Buzz may hurt Umbreon, I don't think it will take it out in one. And I still need to do some damage. Oh, oh, she went into Rotom Heat. Oh yeah, this was another thing she had. I forgot. It seems like her team is the same as before. Okay. That's fine with me, though. Because Rotom has Levitate. And if I can get rid of that, that means, uh, you know, I can just freely spam Earthquake for the rest of the game. So that's not so bad. Is the rain up anymore? The rain should still be up, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to use Wish. And I'm going to use... You know what? I'm going to use Amnesia this turn. Oh, shit. Oh, and it got a crit. Alright, I'm in for it now. So that Volcarona's set up. And it knows Giga Drain. I'm in for some shit now. God damn. Well, this isn't so bad, though. Because um, now Whizcash is dead, I can send in Houndoom and not worry about killing it. Uh, what do I do, though? I'm gonna... I, I want to take out Volcarona as soon as I can. Um, see, a part of me wants to set up Nasty Plot, but Volcarona's faster than me now, so that's not a good idea. Oh, oh yes, 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 okay, this is good, this is good. I'm, uh, my power's boosted because of the field, and she used Flash Fire, this is good. Okay, that was a crit, That that's disgusting. Oh god, she went into Delphox too. Oh, I got burned by that, oh shit. Um down. Well, I got the wish. I might use it again. I'm gonna use flame. I want to take out Volcarona as quickly as I can. Wait, what is that then? Is that ground? Right, I used it on one of my Pokemon before, but it wasn't very effective. What did it use? It was Whizcash. Oh, that must be Hidden Power Water then. Wait, no. No. It wasn't good against Whizcash, but it's super effective against Houndoom. So what could that be? What, what is Whizcash? Rock. It's rock. Okay. It's hidden power rock. Right. I'm in a bad situation here. I'm in a very bad situation here. Um, I'm honestly just going to have to use a revive, I think. I might even use a max revive just because I have those. I'm not sure. How many revives do I have? Five. Okay. Uh, what can I do? Um... I'm weighing my options here. Houndoom could take out Volcarona from where it is, but it has Hidden Power Rock. Whizcash might be able to, but it has Giga Drain. If I heal Houndoom with a revive, it'll just die to another Hidden Power. 
But if I use a Max Revive, it could live one. But if I revive Whizcash, it's just going to die at any point. And it will heal. Thing. So I'm going to try reviving Houndoom. As long as Sceptile lives this turn and let her, it gives me an opportunity to restore it, it should be fine. The rain's still up, so unless I get double attack, Sceptile should live this turn. Oh, and it's got the Ockerberry too. Yeah. Yeah, it lived it. Sweet. But it's going to attack Sceptile now, isn't it? With a flamethrower. Wait, attacked Umbreon? Oh, no, it did attack Sceptile. Okay. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is get... Oh, shit, the rain stops. That's not good. That's not good. <coughs> right, what I'm going to get Umbreon to do is heal Houndoom. And I'm going to get Houndoom to attack Volcarona. Because I need Houndoom to take that thing out now. If Volcarona heals, that's fine. Because uh, there's not too much that Delphox can do to me. But I need to take out that Volcarona. Because now that thing's set up, that thing's a threat. Oh god, I knew she was going to do that. Oh man. Well, at least Houndoom's fully restored. Umbreon might lose here. Please don't. Alright, good. Now what, though? Is the question. Oh, I had a Citrus Berry on Umbreon. I forgot about that. Um, right, I'm going to get Umbreon to use a revive on Whizcash, I think. Wait, no, no, no. I need to set the rain up. I need to set the rain up. Revive... I'm going to use this on Espeon. And I'm, I'm going to try and take out Delphox. I'm going to try and take out Delphox because I'm not killing Volcarona from where it is. Oh, okay. Well, that worked out. Oh, the field combusted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Heatwave does that. I was waiting for this to happen. So what? Will using a water move now destroy this field then? I wonder. Uh, at least Delphox is gone. That's, that thing's flamethrower was kind of strong. Right. But what's going to happen now? Rotom. Right, I forgot about that. Right, I need to set up Rain Dance. I'm going to you. I'm going to heal Espeon. I need Espeon to survive a hit from Volcarona so I can get the rain up. I need the rain to win. I need the rain. Oh, it missed. Yes. I'd, I'd rather you'd hit Houndoom, to be honest, but... Alright, Amplified the attack. That's fine. Because that won't take me out. And now your special attack harshly fell. It hurts Espeon, but it's okay. Oh, the rain snuffed out the flame. Okay, so that's what the rain does. Right, I'm going to heal Espeon now, because I have Ultra Potions. I have plenty of them, so... Espeon, you're going to heal. Houndoom. I'm going to need you... A nasty plot because you're you're actually surviving so i'm gonna try and sit up with you you might be my key to winning this oh shit that did a lot if rotom hits this turn i'm in trouble please miss oh okay it didn't take me out thank thank you oh man that would have sucked right um I need to heal again. I need to heal. I might actually need a hyper, po uh, hyper potion this time because I don't think an ultra potion is going to heal enough to live another Giga Drain or whatever it was it did. Right, I'm going to use Flamethrower now on Volcarona because uh, with with the boost from the field and uh, the flash fire boost I got, this should do more than Dark Pulse will. Yes, and I got a crit. All right, good, good. As right, so I take out Darmanitan. Typhlosion, Delphox, Volcarona. So she should have Rotom and Ninetales left. And it, it went back. Alright, she sent in Ninetales now. Alright, 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 alright. And Rotom. Okay, there's a rainbow. So the field changed. I need to set up rain again. But this works out because now I can use Dark Pulse on Ninetales. I need to take that thing out, like, right now. Because Ninetales is her strongest mod. I don't... I don't even care if Rotom's got his special attack back. The rainbow softens dark attacks. Okay, that's that's bizarre. Alright, well... I'm going to use an Ultra Potion on Espeon because I think it can live another hit. See, I'm just using Espeon as a hit taker now because if I send out Whizcash... Ninetales might have a Grass move still because I've not seen one yet. I'm not sure if they took the dark moves off, but... 
Hmm. Let's see. Right, Nine Tails has Drought and Rotom has Levitate, so Fire Moves would do some damage. And the, the field is weakening Dark Pulse. But I also don't have the field boosting my fire attacks anymore, so I don't know what, how much this will do. I'm going to test Flamethrower, but chances are Dark Pulse will still do more damage. Actually, no, after that Heat Wave, I think. Uh, yeah, Hound Doom's Flamethrower might do more now, actually. Uh, I did about the same. Hmm. Oh, wait, it's got a Citrus Berry. Shoot. Alright, uh, I'm going to use Psychic on it now. Yeah, I'm going to use Psychic and Flamethrower on it, because these two attacks should take out Nine Tails. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't attack Houndoom, please. Don't, don't, don't. I need Houndoom to win. I need Houndoom. Don't attack Houndoom. Inferno. No, screw that. That's a terrible move. Okay, good, 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 good. I think I've got this now. I think I've got it. I'm just gonna, I'm, go, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna double attack. This should take it out. Please. Yes. Oh, was that first try? Did I do that first try? Oh, no. Oh, my God. That This battle was so hard before. That was still hard, but holy shit. I can't believe Houndoom was the one that helped me win that. Arme wasn't joking about the fire versus fire thing. God fucking damn. Oh, man. Oh, you have you had no idea how happy I am I did that. I could never do that before. Oh, man. I love my team. I love my team. Ah. Alright, everything from here, right now, 100% blind going forward. Over it. So done. So I'm still powerless, just like back then. Heh, <laughs> maybe I'm not entirely free of guilt after all. Doesn't matter. Here, the Cinder Badge, thank you. That takes you up to level 75, plus the whole die thing. I owe you this too. Flamethrower! I can finally teach my electric flamethrower! Yes! Burn, baby. Make Team Media pretty for me. Alright. Um, I'm expecting to walk outside the gym and hear they've got Laura. <laughs> you have the city to go save, don't you? We'll be fine here, don't worry. Uh, right. Flamethrower, flamethrower, flamethrower. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh. Yes! Yes! I don't care about Flame Burst at all! Give me Flame from a boy! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, I need to give the Earth Plate back to Wizcash. Hold this. Need the Lucky Egg back on my neck trick. Where is it? There it is. My neck trick, hold. Uh, who needs the experience share? Sceptile does. I think. Or would it be Houndoom? I don't know. I'm just going to give it Sceptile, I think, for now. Wait, who's got it? Someone still has it. Oh, it's Houndoom that's got it. Okay, yeah, Houndoom won't be needing that. I'll give you the Flame Plate back. You can have this. Uh, what is it? Um, experience share. I also just realized that by giving the Sceptile the Ocker Berry, that also activated his Unburden. Not that he helped me in that battle whatsoever, but that activated his Unburden. I didn't even consider that this time around. Alright, Damp Rock. Right, so I need to give the Twisted Spoon and the Dread Plate back. You know what, maybe I should just give you the Mind Plate since that's closer in the bag. They do the same thing anyway. Yeah, now I can just go back up to the dread plate. Don't have to scroll through the entire fucking bag this time. Hooray. Oh man, that got so close. Look. 9 HP. 16 HP with a burn. And I had to use a revive as well. That got really close. Oh man. Right, who am I putting at the front though? Right, main neck trick. You've got the lucky egg, don't you? Or do you? I think you do. Yeah, you've got the lucky egg, so you're going in front. 
gonna leave Septile next to you. Put a Whizcash here, and I'm gonna put SV on here. All right, good, good, good. This this worked out brilliantly. Oh my lord, I'm saving right the fuck now. Right the fuck now. Let's look at this Cinder badge we got. Oh, that looks beautiful. That's a beautiful badge. That is a beautiful badge. And now I can go up to level 75 too. And I'm only 65. Boy. Boy. Army, I did it. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the shield again. See what's going on here. It's just them two still. Okay, I guess... Uh... Oh, there's Shelly. Hello. What are you doing here? Every moment that passes is another moment Heather is starving away up in Amatrine City. I have to hurry, but what can I do? Okay, I was thinking about it downstairs. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the video, but Anna and Noel never fucking do anything. Like, I, I thought about what it is exactly everyone does, because things are usually left to me. Sephira, she's been going and leading this resistance. She destroyed and even killed some meteors over at the lake when the, them and Connell were going to destroy their house to get the kids and the ring. Um, Shelly, she helped us bust into the orphanage. Kane, he did the same thing as well as been hunting down Heather this whole time so that he can bring her back to us. So us four, we've all been doing things. Charlotte, she's not been doing as much. But, like, she's done some things, like, she's, uh, saved Shelly when we went to the Ureu building. And she's ran off with the ruby ring just now to trick Team Meteor. So she's not exactly doing as much as we are in the terms of taking people out. But she's using her cunning and deceptiveness to help us out, which is good. But, oh, and there was Laura. She's not done much either, but she, she tried helping against Dr. Connell back at home. She's not, she didn't succeed in that. But she did try to help at least. So she's done something. But Shelly's really not done that much outside of helping us with the orphanage. Heather's done nothing but ignore everyone and then fly away and make things ten times worse than they already were. And despite knowing Noel and Anna are pretty powerful, they've done fuck all as well. So... It's kind of bothering me how I'm being left to do most of the work when there's a few people here who are more than capable of helping and yet aren't doing anything. Now, I know you could argue they're kids, okay? I know you can argue that. But what you've got to understand is that they're gym leaders. And Anna, I've not even fought yet. And she might even be the champion or an Elite Four. I'm pretty sure she's a gym leader. But she might be something else. Either way, we know that she's a powerful trainer. But they've not done anything. They could be helping, but instead I'm being left most of the workload. Because I'm the player character. <laughs> now, I can admit Kane's done a lot, and Sephira's obviously got the balls. But it really feels like that nobody else is actually pulling their weight besides us three. Even though, obviously, some of the others are doing things. It doesn't feel like they're really doing much to contribute. And they should be doing more. And I hope in time they will do more. Because it's starting to bug me how they're not doing anything. Anyway, let's go in here. Oh, it seems Hardy's here too. Pharaoh, please be careful if you encounter any enemies on the water. It's difficult for other types to fight down there, especially if they're weak to water. Remember that when on the water, water attacks are effective even on other water types, and other physical moves are weak. Good luck. So basically, when I'm diving, Whiskash is the only one I really want to use down there. Sometimes the best way up is actually down. You got the badge? That's great. Now you just need to find a way around the ice block with dive. I think I already know where I need to go. So Charlotte was lying after all. I guess that's good for us. Steel, man. All these crazy girls, they're too much. Hey, I'm not crazy. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean you guys. Anna, you might be the craziest of any of one. Of, of any of us, I think he meant to say. No, don't be mean. You're mean to me frequently. That doesn't count. Nomo said I could be. Ah, uh, really? Why would Nomo allow bullying? <laughs> Alright, anyway, um, that was a long episode, but we got a lot done. Just being able to beat Charlotte is a lot for me, because now I can finally carry on with the fucking game. And go to places I've not been to before. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, then please hit the like button down below to show your support for the video and the playthrough. Leave a comment giving tips, advice, opinions, and letting me know about any event Pokemon I've missed up to this point and how I might get them. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to get more Pokemon Reborn videos as well as other content like this. With that all being said and done, I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then.